Hi everyone. It's been a while since my last wine review and I thought it's Monday. What a better way to spend a Monday afternoon than to do a cheeky wine review. Are you drinking alcohol right now? Yes, I am. I've been working hard all week and I feel like I deserve this. I've earned this. It's Monday. It's Monday. Shut up. Today I'll be reviewing Kylie Minogue Sauvignon Blanc. I'm dressed for the occasion and I hope it will be a good wine because there's been quite a lot of hype around her wines recently. I saw it in Tesco a few weeks ago and I just couldn't get it out of my head so I did a little research and in 2020 she launched Kylie Minogue Wines with London-based distributor Benchman Drinks. Not quite sure what she's doing in the wine business but anyway she's been having quite a lot of success with a portfolio of nine wines including the best-selling signature rosé and rosé prosecco in the UK. So let's crack it open. As always, we will be starting with the nose and the aromas of the wine, so let's have a little sniff. I like the minerality of this wine, quite strong notes of gooseberry, and then lemon, apple, pear, a bit of blossom, a hint of white peach, I'd say, a touch of grass, a little bit of flint. It's quite promising on the nose. Let's see how it's performing on the palate. The nose was quite good and promising. The palate is a little bit disappointing because it doesn't have that acidity that you would expect from this wine. It's quite flabby, quite flat. So while the nose was promising something crispy, refreshing, zesty, the palate is underperforming and not really delivering. And the finish is also quite uh, short. So essentially, let's wrap up because there's nothing else to look for in this wine. So what we've got, we've got half a point for balance. I'm being generous. Zero points for length, half a point for intensity, a point for complexity, being a little bit generous, but I did really enjoy the nose. I did really enjoy what it was promising. Sadly, the palette didn't deliver. So guys, this one is acceptable in my opinion. Nothing wrong with it. Well, I say nothing wrong with it. The acidity did quite surprise me. It costs about seven to nine quid. So if you want to try Kylie Minogue wine, it's available there for you uh, at Tesco. But before you go, there is one more test we have to do. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, if you found it useful, please hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe and I see you next time. Bye. So it, 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 <laughs> it, oh fuck, <laughs> it, and I feel like I've deserved this.